Hey guys, it's James is here, and today I'm going to be showing you what it's like to shop on eBay as a Canadian. Now, if you don't know already, I myself am Canadian, if it wasn't already obvious by the title, you know, and if you didn't know I was Canadian, how? I thought it was pretty obvious, I say it all the time, it's in my Twitter bio. Now, you're probably thinking to yourself right now, James is here, how is it hard to shop on eBay as a Canadian? Well, I will explain that to you right now eBay is an American site, meaning most of the sellers on it are American, which means that sometimes items don't ship to Canada, which really sucks, but I have to deal with it. And because of that, all of the other stuff that does ship to Canada usually isn't the best prices, which means I have to deal with a lot of crappy listings, crappy prices, and scammers, which is so fun, right? So I thought, I would show you guys what I have to deal with. So let's get started. So first, before we actually search up Thomas Wooden Railway, I wanna check something. So I recently viewed this James and Jack two pack. Um, I don't know why the seller put it as two different listings. I didn't even know you could do that. But this James is the metallic James from Japan. And obviously it comes with Jack, but I already have Jack. But the thing is, is I want this metallic James so bad. And it's actually at a pretty decent price. Well, that's the American price. See, the Canadian price is this. See, that's another thing I have to deal with. The prices is always like a huge gap. Like I, I look at it, it's like, oh, $93. That's not bad. But then I look at down here and it's like, oh, right. I'm not American. I have to pay this and not this. So it gets annoying sometimes, but the shipping's free which is nice. So I'm gonna make an offer. This is also a bit confusing. I have to put in the American price, which means I don't know what I'm paying for until I see it in a Canadian, in Canadian dollars. I could just look it up, but you know, I'm, I'm a little bit uh, edgy, so I don't do that. So I'm gonna put in an offer. So the buy it now price currently is $93 American. So I think I'm gonna make an offer uh, Hmm, let's do $88 and I'm gonna send a I'm gonna hmm should I send a message to the seller? What should I say? Um hi, I want this give or you are su now please give or die. <laughs> No, I, you know, I'm not I'm not gonna send a message I'm just gonna send this as an offer and we'll see what the person who's selling this says actually let's do 87 I'm feeling a little bit risky. So yeah, I'm gonna click review offer Hopefully the seller responds to the offer soon. They might not today, but if they do, then that'll be cool. So now we're gonna get to the more fun part of this video. I'm actually gonna search up um, Thomas Witten Railway and look through all the listings to see if I can find anything good. Okay, so I've set the time to newly listed, which means all of the newest stuff will show up first. So let's see. So we got a lot of this stuff looks kind of boring and just normal stuff that I've seen before, like all the time. Nothing really too interesting right now. That's not wooden really. What's that doing there? Um, <laughs> Donald's ten Ferdinand's tender. <laughs> Why is there an Ertl here? I. Tommy, come on, man. Theodore Tugboat, why is this here? Um, I, I, I don't think that's what you're supposed to do there. Ooh, Patchwork Hero. I could use one of those if I ever decide to do a remake of Hero of the Rails. Ah, Express Coaches, I, I definitely need more of those. Oh, these ones are in really bad condition, never mind. More Ertl, more, more Take Along, really? Ooh, what's this? Huh, there's, that's, um, Coldy's. Coldy, I think? Coldy? Is that Coldy's, like, coach thing? I forget. But it comes with Emily and Rosie, which I already have. And, you know, it doesn't even have, like, the little package she's carrying. Or Coldy. Ew. Why would you sell the Tommy Thomas ugly-ass face with milk? What the frick? Mavis and the breakdown train. Has Mavis ever pulled the breakdown train in the series? I don't think so. I don't even know why the seller would sell these two together. These two have, n these two have nothing in common. Actually, wait, I just realized something. The Tommy Mavis came with the breakdown train. Did the seller know that? Did they think this was Tommy? That just opens up more possibilities that I didn't even realize. Why Why are you just selling Flynn's tender? And that's not even Wooden Railway. Huh. Oh, wow. What a great deal. Spencer for $112. Oh, well, at least it's only $2.13 shipping. Ooh, this is an interesting looking lot. Um, what does it come with? James, Stanley, uh... 
What are those? Hmm. Oh, it comes with that tunnel thing. Oh, the aquarium car is my favorite item. Ooh. Oh, this is cool. It's the 60th anniversary set. Does it have all the pieces? Nope, it doesn't come with Thomas or Henry. Well, it does have the gold track, but it, it's missing Thomas and Henry. That's like, I think that's the only thing missing, is it? Does it have the station? I didn't, yeah, it has the station. So it doesn't come with Thomas or Henry, but it's like the full set. And it's a bid. Maybe another time. Oh, what the heck is this? <gasps> oh my god. It's the castle from King of the Railway. That would be cool to have, but... It's pretty expensive, and I don't really feel like paying that much. Ooh, Gold Dome James. I'll put it in my watch list. Why not? Actually, while I'm at it, I'm going to put this in my watch list as well. Oh, oh, wow. Diesel D199. This is like a really... A 1996, yeah. Hmm. 1996. I'll put that in my watch list. Flying Scotsman in box. <sighs> nah, I don't know. Rather just get a used one. All right, so now I've added the word lot to my search, which will now bring up a bunch of um, listings consisting of a bunch of items in one, which I buy a lot of because, you know, it's usually a little bit cheaper than buying items separately. And also it makes for good content because unboxing videos. <laughs> so some of these I've seen before because, you know, obviously they showed up during the previous search I did, but sometimes I miss lots, so it's good to do this just to see the lots by themselves to really get the full scope. Oh, this is an interesting lot. Oh, geez, what happened to Diesel 10's claw? It's like bent. Birdie looks like he's just seen a freaking ghost. And then two items I don't care for, and then Diesel D199, which I don't have. I don't need that. Huh. Okay, so we got more Diesel 10, Annie, Clarabelle. Oh, God. Ugh. They put the two yellow narrow gauge engines and also the ugliest versions of them right next to each other. Great. Um, oh, God. Ugly Gordon. Oh, this looks interesting. Oh, wait. What the fr- Why are there so many take- This is not wood- Like, yeah, it wouldn't really over here, but that's not- Why are you combining- t t And is that Tommy up there? Why are you selling just the tender? And why this specific tender? Why this specific crappy snow wood jam? Oh, wait, wait. Lot of five. Okay. But still, it's just the... T why is this person just selling a lot of five tenders? And why do they have to put them all in separate pictures? Whoa, this is a huge lot. Oh, wait. Whoa, these are all huge lots. What's this one? Oh, God. These are terrible. Look at that Henry. Look at that Thumper. Look at Lady! Where's her funnel? It's gone! Look at Maven! Ugh, this is not wooden railway, and that's barely a lot, that's literally two items! Alright, we're gonna do one final search of just Thomas the Train, because some people don't know the name of the merchandise, so they just put Thomas the Train. This is a good way to find out, you know, all the stuff that I missed. It's also a nice way to see other types of merchandise that I maybe want to collect one day, like Golden Bear. I've always wanted to collect Golden Bear, and look, here we, here we have James and Golden Bear, and it's $17. 27 shipping, that's pretty expensive, but it's Golden Bear James. Look at his face. That's a beautiful face. Oh, what's this? Pez dispenser. I mean, not Pez dispenser. Wind up. I don't know why I said Pez dispenser. What's wrong with me? Um, is it a pillow pet? <laughs> pillow pet Thomas. Ooh, Tommy. Thomas at the timber yard set in box. Steve would really like this. Another pillow thing. Okay. It is on the track. He's on the track. He's always going for. Oh, there's that Mavis skin. <gasps> Let's go, Thomas! Oh yeah. I love how this person is selling this Let's Go Thomas for 50 freaking dollars. And I literally found mine at a thrift store for like three bucks. Is this a watch? Oh my a musical birthday watch. Huh. Interesting. I'll put that on my watch list. Is that a Thomas? Freaking sippy cup? Oh my god. Uh, it, what? Th th what? Tom, a remote control Thomas. I'm putting that on my watch list. That is pretty freaking dope. Look at that. That's dope as hell. Oh my god. And it's by Tommy! Eh! Alright, so I think I'm done searching on eBay for now. So, yeah, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit all the buttons. I don't know what other buttons you can hit, but just hit them. Just freaking hit them. Who cares? Hit the button that launches the nukes.